Hi everybody, it's Steve on the Guru Brew. Today I thought I would teach you how I take an operating system that's on one of these CD or DVD discs and reinstall it on your computer to bring your operating system back to life on your computer. So hang out for that. We'll get started. Well, this is the famous black tower. This is a Dimensions 8200, and Dell made a ton of these computers. And this one has an XP sticker on it, down here on the bottom. And it came with this operating system disk that I showed you earlier. And I know that this disk belongs with this machine because this is a Dell XP Home Edition, and if you look on the sticker of this case, it's also the Dell Windows XP Home Edition. So these two match, and that's a good thing. The reason why, incidentally, we're reinstalling this operating system is because the customer brought it in to me because he has a lot of stuff running on this machine and it's just really filled up there's some malware type programs running in the background that are really slowing them down so I told him I thought it would just be easier just to go ahead and reinstall the operating system because he didn't need to save any files so let's go ahead and put the disk in you have to have the computer on to open the drive and mine's on so I'm just going to open this up we're going to take this disk here and put it in the put it in the drive and then go ahead and close it once you get the um, disk in the drive you can go ahead and turn the machine off because you need to restart the machine with that disk inside it so I'm just now shutting down you can see there I'll be back in just a second. Okay, this machine is now off and my disk is inside the drive. I want to go ahead and turn the machine back on and start pressing the F12 key on the keyboard right away. And when you press F12 when it's starting up, you'll get this little menu like this. It says Boot Device Menu and I'm looking to start the machine from the CD-ROM device because that's the type of disk that I have so I'm just going to go ahead and take my arrow key here down arrow and come down to the fourth one here the IDE CD-ROM device and choose the enter key I just need to press F1 to continue and I can hear the CD um, starting up on the computer and it's asking me to press a key I just did and it's checking my hardware and it's getting ready to run and this will take a few minutes you'll see down here that it'll be loading all these drivers up I'll be back as soon as things change okay the setup is now finished loading and I have this screen what we're going to do for this exercise is hit the enter key for the first one there. It says enter right at the top. And then you get this licensing agreement and you have to come down at the bottom and agree, which is F8. F8. Press. Okay when you get to this part these are the partitions on the computer and if you have your Windows disk you only need one partition on your machine so instead of trying to repair any of these I just recommend that you just continue and you do that with the escape key ESC see it there which is here ESC after you press the escape button it'll show you how many partitions are on the machine and we're going to go ahead and start fresh so we're going to delete everything that might be in this list you might have more partitions than I do I only have one you might have C, D, E, F, G 
There might be a whole bunch of stuff here for you, but in my case, I only have one partition. And the idea is to delete all the partitions in this box. And you do that with the D key. So I'm gonna get my D key here and I'm gonna press it and watch what happens to that. I have to press enter to accept and L to double accept. L. Okay, now you can see that there are no more partitions on this drive and I just have one big fat disk. If you have more partitions on your disk, be sure that you go down through with your arrow keys and delete them all. Once you have a blank list here, you're ready to start installing XP and you use the enter key for that. Enter. You'll be presented on how to format and partition your hard drive. Make sure that you go with the second one. Don't choose the quick. If you have a problem with your disk, quick will only make things worse on you. Use the second one, the one it's on now. Enter. And you can see now that this is formatting my hard drive and I've got a bar here on the bottom that says zero percent. It's got to go all the way to a hundred and as soon as it goes to a hundred then it will start installing. So this is where the waiting really does begin. So be patient and as soon as something changes on mine I'll be back. I have to let this go to a hundred. I just thought I would give you an update to this Windows XP formatting. It's still working and it's probably been about 20-25 minutes for me. You can see it still has about 24% left to go. So just a quick update. I will be back as soon as something changes. The setup is at 98%. I thought I would come over and turn my camera on and hopefully we could catch what's going to happen next as soon as this formatting is done. What will actually happen next is nothing too exciting. It'll just start copying the files from the disk onto this new partition that it's now formatting. And the DVD or CD, depending on what you're using, will have activity. And that will begin, like I said, reading into the hard drive. So there it's at 100%. And now that it's 100%, I can hear the CD spinning up now. And you get little messages down here from time to time. So there you can see it's starting to copy files. And now we're back at 1% again. <laughs> so this, like I said, this is something that you just have to have patience with. You can see the drive light on the CD blinking. That means that it's reading. So it will take some time. I'll be back. Okay, so we're coming up on the installation phase now. This is all done in phases. And the first one was to prepare our hard drive, the partitions and formatting. And then the second the second um, stage was to copy the files from the CD or DVD drive and then this is the stage that it actually starts to install the Windows program so you can see it, it's trying to decide how many minutes are left of this install it says about 39 we'll see what happens with that so again you just have to wait for this to finish just don't touch a thing and just wait for it I'll be back. Okay, so we're still working on this XP setup and it stopped here for a second. And it will do that a couple times and ask you your name and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill this out and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm still answering a few questions here. Okay, so we're still installing, and I'll be back. The computer has stopped once again and asked me another question about network settings. 
and unless you have a very unique situation, just take the typical settings and hit next on this part. Okay, it's still moving along. I'll be back. Well, the XP machine is now restarted once again, and I'm just waiting for it to come up here for the first time. So there it is, XP, coming up. Is it next? You can just turn this on automatic. Next. And you can look on down through here how this works and make your choices. This one wants to know how to connect to the internet. I'm going to say LAN on that. And if you get this kind of thing here, I just always click the automatic DNS unless you have very specific settings. Next. And then you want to give it a name. I'll be back in a second. Look at that. A brand new install of XP. Now I will tell you that after you do a reinstall, a lot of times, especially with XP and other operating systems, you will not have all your drivers and you might notice that things don't work something that you can do to check to make sure that you have all your drivers is to go to the my computer and use your right hand or your right finger mouse button rather click once and go down to properties and then click on the hardware tab here and go to the device manager and make sure that there are no devices that have yellow X's or red X's in them. In my case, all these devices look like they are working properly. So I have no device problems. But if you do have a device problem, there will be an X on it. And what you can do is go to the Dell website, look up your computer, and then find the driver for the the troubled device so if I had a red X on this modems let's say I could go ahead and get on a different computer that works on the internet or this one and look up my make and model which is a Dell 8200 dimensions and then find the modem driver and then copy that onto a flash drive and then put it on this machine manually until and make sure that that uh, driver is um, has the proper software in it to work so that's it guys it's that simple so that is how you would reinstall your XP operating system on a system that came with its own CD or DV disk. It's not that difficult. Just remember that if you do this procedure that you use the Windows Update and update any software that may be on your machine because a lot of times the disk contents is older and you will need to patch security updates. And also make sure that you use a good antivirus. So thanks for watching guys. If you find this video useful make sure that you give us a thumbs up. It does matter. And if you have any questions or comments or just want to say hi, drop us a line in the comments below. So thanks for watching again, and bye for now. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.